You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Spiritual Awakenings with your host, Marsha Hebrink. Listen now as Marsha explores the mystery of angels. Who are angels? How can they help us? And how can we connect with these wonderful beings of light to enlighten and enrich our lives? So now, please welcome the host of Spiritual Awakenings, Marsha Hebrink. Welcome, everybody. This is Marcia Hebrink, and you're listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody is hanging in there. I am telling you what, we are right now in the midst of the full moon energy, which is very intense, I have to say, um, in my experience at least. And we are also in the midst of Mercury retrograde, smack dab right in it. And uh, we just recently had, my husband was telling me about another strange things, some eclipse and something happening with Mercury like yesterday, the day before. Actually, I think it was yesterday. So uh, yeah, there's a lot going on out there in the cosmos. And uh, I think, you know, as human beings, we can certainly be affected by the planets. Um, Otherwise, astrologers would not have a job. (laughs) And they certainly do. The astrologers stay very, very busy. So um, hope you guys are doing well. And uh, taking really good care of yourself, I feel like this is a time, and I've gotten this message from the angels, when we really have to nurture ourselves and make sure that we make time right now to do kind and gentle things for ourselves. And uh, I think as light workers, many of us listening to the show, um, probably most of us are light workers, and it is our nature as light workers to care for others, to be loving, to be kind, to be compassionate, and, you know, to do for others. Um, often those who can't do for themselves, you know, to, to encourage people to be kind and gentle. Um, however, I have to say, you know, sometimes we have to really turn that kindness, that gentleness onto ourselves, especially when there's kind of harsh energies happening right now, uh, like they are. Um, I saw someone today for an appointment and uh, you know I think it's a combination of these astrological factors happening as well as right now we are kind of entering a period of darker days and uh, we've had that time change here in the U.S. uh, spring forward fall backwards so uh, we have all this you know less daylight than we ordinarily would this time of year it's darker it's rainier it might be snowing some places and so we're not getting as much sunshine as we ordinarily would and it's colder outside so we don't want to go out and do as much. Now, those of you who live in Florida, um, you guys are certainly an exception. And, oh, I wish I had some of your sunshine right now. Right now in Durham, North Carolina, where I am, it is rainy and very cold. It's going to be very, very cold tonight. It's going to get down in the the 20s. For us, that is cold. So uh, it's not the Yukon or anything, but it's pretty chilly. So anyway, in these darker days of the fall uh, of November and of December, you know, really make sure that you do things that will help you to feel better. 
help you to feel happy, help you to feel nurtured. And don't just be the one who nurtures everybody else. Make sure there's some left to go around for you because you are important. Okay. Um, Okay. I'm off my soapbox now. So I wanted to share with you the angel that I would be uh, talking about today on the show. And, uh, you know, usually I just kind of leave it up to the angels and they'll kind of just pop in and tell me, you know, who I should talk about. Um, And today was no exception. Um, I wanted to introduce the topic of difficult people today and how we sometimes uh, might find that we need to call in the angels or call upon our stone helpers to assist us with that. Now, difficult people exist everywhere, don't they? You know, and sometimes who's to say perhaps we're difficult people too, Uh, you know, once in a while for having a bad day or something like that. But there are some folks on the planet who are kind of stuck in negative energy. They're stuck in the negativity and they're not able to see the light in others and in themselves even. And so it's a part of our being present here on the planet that we will encounter some of these folks um, in our day to day lives. And so it can be pretty hard. So I wanted to share with you uh, the angel that I like to remember to call in when I'm having to deal with difficult people. Now, difficult people can be family members, okay? I hope not, but they certainly can be. I've been working with one lady who has a mother-in-law who is really uh, putting her through some stuff. She's she's, uh, been made very unhappy by her mother-in-law and the statements her mother-in-law has made towards her. Um, And she is the sweetest woman. Oh my gosh, just, you know, very, very, very dear. Um, And, you know, it's hard sometimes to understand when other people are putting you down, when other people are you know, kind of trying to diminish who you are as a human being, uh, being critical of you and things like that. And I hope that's not happening in your life. Uh, but it seems like lately a lot of my clients, um, this is an issue that they're dealing with. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of them, difficult people. And, you know, trying to kind of not take it personally. But on the other hand, you know, just finding, wait a minute, you know, this person is out of line. This person is, you know, they don't understand who I am. Otherwise, they wouldn't say these things. Um, you know, it's just a very, very hard situation to be in. So who do you want to call when you're dealing with folks who uh, are treating you uh, in a way that's other than uh, with compassion? One of the angels I like to call in is Archangel Raguel. And Archangel Raguel's name is spelled R-A-G-U-E-L, Raguel. And Raguel's name means friend of God. He is one of the angels of justice. So if there is an issue of injustice, this is a guy for you to call in who will be in your court. Um, His role is to bring harmony and balance into situations that are um, out of control and that lack love. Situations that are difficult, challenging, uh, where you're feeling like there's a real disequilibrium, this is the angel to call in, one of the angels. Now, Raguel is a very gorgeous angel. I love his energy. When you encounter him, uh, now some of us see angels, some of us hear them, sense them, feel them, know them. Um, I tend to see them. And so for me, when I see Raguel, I see this luscious kind of pale soft blue with a little bit of aqua in it um it's hard to describe the color it's super soft and it's just it corresponds with his energy really loving of course that is my favorite color blue um it's the color of celestite okay um you know that soft soft pale blue although there's a little aqua tinge to it. So Raguel, um, if you choose to call him in, you may feel his energy as male or you may feel his energy as female. Now, I tend to uh, feel him as male. And as we've talked about on other shows, 
angels are neither masculine nor feminine. They really are in balance in terms of their masculine and feminine qualities. So literally they're androgynous in their essence. Um, But often he appears male to people, uh, but he has this softness that is kind of a a gentle female quality and it really complements his very subtle energy. Um, So I wanted to tell you a little bit about um, some of my experiences with Raguel, but we're getting ready to take a quick little break. When we come back, I'll tell you about when I called him in to make new friends. So stay tuned, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrank, and you're listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we'll be right back. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the realization of your dreams by making them a reality. Based in Quebec, Canada, Joanne is also a space coach using social media and Skype to work with anyone, anywhere around the world. Contact Joanne Charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca 819-360-3266 Now is your time. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Leip is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and this is Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing. And I just have to tell you, I have been hearing from folks uh, who love the show, and it's so great to hear from you guys and hear your great feedback. And uh, if anybody wants to just shoot me an email, email, Anytime and let me know what you'd like to hear about on the show, as long as it has to do with angels and spiritual healing and crystals and stones. I am happy to oblige. And my email is Marcia Hebrank at yahoo.com. It's just my name, M A R C I A. H-E-B-R-A-N-K at yahoo.com. It's a long name I've got this time. My maiden name is McCullum, and uh, so I inherited this this Hebraic last name from my husband, Jack. So uh, happy to have it, and happy to have him in my life. So... Back to our angel, Archangel Raguel, Raguel, I sort of say Raphael, I'm thinking about Raphael, he's such a beautiful angel, Um, Raguel, whose name means friend of God, is unconditionally loving. And one of the things he really likes to help us with is finding harmony in our relationships, finding harmony in our uh, marriage, in our friendships, in our family relationships, our workplace uh, relationships, and just our regular friends that we have. And he also is a really great angel to work with if you want to make some new friends, if you feel like 
you know, I've got some friends, but I'd really like to have a few more, some really good friends, people who, you know, are similar to me in terms of what they are interested in and, you know, they have a gentle, loving soul and things like that. So this is an angel you can call in to help you meet new friends. And um, I did this once, and I guess it would have been, oh, maybe three years ago, something like that. Uh, One day I was just thinking, gosh, I'd like to have a few more close friends who, you know, would be enthusiastic about the kinds of things I'm interested in. Of course, spiritual healing and angels and stones. And so um, I just kind of put it out there because, you know, I stay really busy. I do healing sessions and readings during the day and I I, Monday through Friday and then I teach classes on the weekends so um, thankfully the angels give me lots of energy but there's not a whole lot of time left over for getting out there in the community and making friends so you know one day I just decided you know I'm going to call Archangel Raguel in and ask him to help me find some like-minded friends and so I did kind of a quick little kind of a prayer-like thing. I just called him in, Archangel Raguel, come down, bless and grace me with your presence. And I just put it out there to him, Archangel Raguel, I am so grateful for your presence. And I ask that you help me to make some new like-minded friends who will be uh, gentle, loving souls who will enjoy the same kinds of things that I do in life. And, uh, who will bring, you know, some happiness and sunshine into my life, and I'll bring that into theirs. And I am so thankful. Thank you, Raguel, for your help. So something just like that. Um, and sure enough, very quickly, after I put it out there to him, really, really quickly, I went to... Uh, after I, I do a session in Chapel Hill once a week with a client, and I have a favorite restaurant over there, and I also have a favorite crystal shop over there. So it was like, oh, I'm going to go to my crystal shop and go to the restaurant. And I was kind of in a hurry, and I thought, well, I don't think I can do both the crystal shop and the restaurant. And so something just told me, though, you really want to make sure you do the restaurant today. And maybe you don't go to the crystal shop. So I thought, well, okay. It was the the angels tugging on me a little bit, and they will do this. And so I went to my favorite restaurant over there and uh, was sitting at the table and ordered my food. And the lady beside me um, had ordered her food. And all of a sudden, we just kind of struck up a conversation. And lo and behold, um, I really enjoyed her presence, and she enjoyed mine. And so we started meeting each other in there for lunch. And, you know, sometimes it would just happen kind of accidentally again, you know, the same time of day, we'd both be in there. And uh, it ended up that we were were pretty good friends fairly quickly. So um, I call that almost instantaneous manifestation. It was pretty amazing. And it was to me a great um, example of how very powerful, number one, how powerful Archangel Raguel is. Once we put that intention out there to him, he delivered immediately. Uh, And number two, it's also an example to me that um, there is great power as well in our uh, placing of, you know, our our manifesting process out there into the world. So um, just know that the angels do hear you when you ask them for help with these kinds of things. And they really want to help you. They want to help all of us. So anyway, I just had to share that with you. It was so beautiful. And uh, I'm, I'm so grateful that it happened the way it did. And I saw her not very long ago. So... Anyway, and here's a little um, sweet little prayer. If you guys would like to do this, any of you who are listening in who would like to manifest some new like-minded friends, this is a prayer uh, in Kyle Gray's book, Angel Prayers, Harnessing the Help of Heaven to Create Miracles. What a great title to his book. Oh, my gosh. So here is the prayer. I now open my heart with love and appreciation to the new souls who are joining me on my journey. I am so glad to welcome into my life friends and teachers 
who are constantly improving themselves and their spiritual connection. Dear Archangel Raguel, thank you for directing this entire process. And so it is. Isn't that beautiful? Again, that's from Kyle Gray. And it's a prayer to ask Archangel Raguel to help you find new like-minded friends. So we're going to take a little break here in a minute. Um, When we get back, I want to tell you about one of my favorite stones and uh, crystals, actually. And I have two of them in front of me. And this is a stone that uh, I think you'll really enjoy hearing about. So hang in there. We'll be back shortly. I'm Marcia Hebrick, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and tune in radio and we'll be right back abuse happens every moment of every day according to national statistics in the united states every two minutes someone is sexually assaulted and every 10 minutes a report of child abuse is made those currently struggling with abuse or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse you are not alone Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, no, there is hope. There is help. There is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful. Happy. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrank, and this is Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing. And our topic today is dealing with difficult people <laughs> and the helpful angel, Archangel Raguel, who can help us in our relationships. And uh, I wanted to share share with you the crystal that is attributed to this particular archangel. Now, all the different archangels have a corresponding stone or crystal that is said to be most deeply connected with them. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, Somebody needs to write a book about that. Um, And this stone um, is really one of my absolute favorites, Um, aquamarine is the stone that is uh, said to be connected with Archangel Raguel. And I really, really feel the energy of aquamarine with him. Um, And I have a lovely piece of aquamarine here. And it is, gosh, it's like a triangle-shaped stone. It is a rough piece of aquamarine. It's pretty good sized. And it's just a beautiful little triangle. Uh, Not that little, actually. Uh, I tend to really enjoy the rough stone. So it's not polished. It's just a rough stone. Uh, But the color in it is really, really breathtakingly beautiful. And it's that, you know, kind of a soft, pale uh, blue-green color. So I wanted to 
tell you a little bit about this stone. It's a luminous blue gemstone. It's considered to be one of the great wonders of the mineral kingdom. And if you go to uh, the big museum, as the Museum of Natural History, and it is in Washington, D.C., they have some of the most amazing crystals and stones you have ever seen in your entire life. And they have a gorgeous, big piece, huge piece of aquamarine there. And I just couldn't help myself. I just kind of had to stand there and just put my hands out. Didn't touch it. You can't touch it. Uh, They won't let you do that. But, you know, you can put your hands out and just connect with the energy of the stone kind of through the glass. Most of their uh, big stones and crystals are under glass because they're so precious. Um, And so if you get a chance to go there, oh, by all means go. It's one of the best collections of stones and crystals, I think, in the U.S., probably in the world. Uh, There is a a, um, crystal um, ball there that is absolutely humongous, and it is perfect. It is just perfect. Um, You can see all the way through it. Uh, And so when we talk about crystals, when a uh, clear quartz crystal is clear, completely clear, there's no uh, whiteness to it, um, that's considered to be a male. And if it has the white in it, the milkiness, that's considered to be a female. So anyway, a little bit about clear quartz. So back to aquamarine. I diverge there telling you about that great museum. Aquamarine has a hardness of 7.5 to 8, so it's pretty hard. Um, And it is considered to be a stone of the sea, a a stone of the ocean, and it does have that real ocean color to it. It comes from Brazil, from Afghanistan, Australia, Africa, the United States, and Pakistan. And I've seen some really gorgeous stones um, actually come out of Brazil. It's considered to be the stone of mermaids. Isn't that beautiful? I have a friend who is a a for real human mermaid, um, and it was used as a talisman by sailors all the way back. Uh, it's recorded back in ancient Greece between 300 and 500 BC that sailors would use aquamarine. They'd put it in their pocket or they'd have it on their ship beside them to keep them safe, to bring them good luck and fearlessness and protection. So it is still considered to be a stone of good luck, a stone of protection. And I consider its protection and good luck, though, to be, you know, of a softer, gentler nature than perhaps a stone like um, Golly, um, trying to think of, I've got one in my mind and it's, it's blipping out of my head. Um, black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is incredibly protective, um, but it's not like this one. You hold aquamarine in your hand and you feel just this love and calmness. This is a great stone for people who are dealing with anger issues and they need to cool themselves down. Literally, it has that water element energy to it. And so it'll calm the soul, cool and calm the soul down. It is a stone that is really great for women in order to help them to get the courage and the clarity to express their inner knowings and to really bring their intuition out into the world more. It's a very goddessy energy that this stone seems to hold when I connect with it. Um, Very beautiful, very loving stone. It's a stone of communication and it does correspond to our throat chakra and uh, it's a stone of empowerment actually for men as well, not just for women, for men also. And uh, let me see what I can tell you about it. It reminds me in its energy of Larimar. And Larimar, of course, is a very oceany stone as well. But uh, if I had a piece in each hand, I'd be uh, in my groovy spot. I love both of these stones a whole lot. Um, It is a cleansing stone. In particular, if you have emotions that are being held in your body, and I deal with this a lot as a medical intuitive, this is a stone that can help to release those, those held emotions that are in the body to bring them out 
into the world to help you speak them and release them so that you don't have to carry them around. If we carry them around in our body, we can become ill. So we don't want to do that. Um, This is a great stone for people who are afraid of speaking in public. Oh, my golly, this was me when I was young. Um, I would I would not speak up in class when I was young until in the eighth grade. I had a teacher who said, I'll give you guys extra credit if you raise your hand and answer a question that you know the answer to. And all of a sudden I wanted my A. So I started answering questions. So it helped me to kind of get past that a little bit. So aquamarine is a stone of release. It helps you if you have attachments to old negative uh, patterns, old belief systems, old relationships you're ready to let go of. This is a stone that can help you. It also helps people who are grieving, helps you to let go of the grief. So um, really, really great crystal. Cannot uh, stress it to you enough. It's a great one to work with. And it'll help you let go of old baggage. And we all need that, don't we? Helps you release anger, too, when you're dealing with difficult people. There's our topic again. So we're going to take a quick little break right now. We'll be back shortly. And I've got more to tell you about difficult people in Archangel Raguel. I'm Marcia Hebrank. You're listening to Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we will be right back. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416 529 7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well, be aware, be magical. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it welcome back everybody i'm marcia hebrank and you're listening to spiritual awakenings and we're coming to you live from the bbm global network and tune in radio and today our topic is difficult people and how to work with the angels to help with that as well as working with the crystal friends um so our angel today is archangel raguel now i want to just mention as well an angel that i would also suggest that we work with related to dealing with difficult people and that is da 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 can anybody guess archangel michael Okay, Archangel Michael, if we're dealing with folks that kind of get us stirred up, you know, we're getting a little angry, we're getting a little frustrated, okay, Michael is a really good one to call in, and he can kind of help us. Oh, I like to just kind of step away from the stressful situation or person, go outside, walk around the building, take a few long, slow, deep, easy breaths in, and I'll call in Michael and I'll say, Michael, just help me to just kind of settle down a little bit here and remember what's really the most important thing to remember. 
And uh, after the situation has resolved later on, I will call Archangel Michael in and I'll ask him to cut cords, any negative connections that might be existing between me and that other person. And he will do that with so much love. And uh, you can do that as well. You know, you just do it something like this. Archangel Michael, thank you for coming forward to me. I draw you in to me uh, with much love and gratitude. And Archangel Michael, I ask that you now sever any and all negative connections that I may have with this individual. And you say their name. And he uses his sword of truth or sword of light, and he just cuts those cords out in the etheric right out in front of you, and it usually is kind of at the solar plexus area. And afterward, after he does that, then I just say something like, thank you, Archangel Michael, for severing those negative connections. And I ask, um, you know, just Michael, just continue to watch over me and uh, help me to uh, deal with this situation in the best ways possible, something like that. And um, he's a great angel to work with in that way. Um, Really, really helpful. You can also, if you're dealing with different difficult people, especially if it's like a somebody who's like a bully, you know, or something like that. And unfortunately, there are some of those out in the world. I wish there weren't. Um, I wish everybody who who had that issue of being a bully uh, was able to kind of see where that was coming from and have that awareness and then, you know, receive whatever healing is needed. Now, sometimes people really need therapy. Sometimes they need counseling. And um, I think that's quite often the case. Uh, In my experience, I I worked with children as a psychotherapist for a lot of years when I was younger and had kids who were very negatively affected by bullying and uh, saw the kind of the longer term results that they experienced from that. And so, you know, it is something that can stay with people for a while. But uh, you certainly, if you ever feel vulnerable in any way, if you feel like you're not safe, if you feel like you're under attack, um, either, you know, right here in the present moment or in terms of psychic attack, uh, you want to call Call Michael in, Archangel Michael, and ask him to bring you extra protection. And you can ask him to bring his shield of protection all the way around your entire energy field. And it's a beautiful cobalt blue or purple. And he brings it all the way around you. And you just thank him for doing that. Anytime you need him to do that, he is happy to do it. Don't ever feel like you are bothering the angels by asking them for help. Um, they are on assignment to us here on the planet, okay? Um, They oversee the planet. They oversee the guardian angels, the archangels do. uh, But they really love to help each and every one of us. And because they are multidimensional beings of love and light, they can be in more than one place at the same time. Now, I know that's kind of a radical thought, but that's how they've explained it to me that they are. So just want to remind you of that. I had someone just, golly, last week who said, well, I just don't want to bother the angels. You know, I know they're really busy. And and I'm like, oh, look, you know, if you don't bother them, that's when, you know, golly, it would make them kind of sad if you didn't bother them when you needed them. You're not really bothering them at all. You're just asking them for help. So please ask them whenever you need help. So I thought I would today um, go ahead and pull a card for us. And I have a beautiful deck here uh, to draw from. And this is an angel card deck, and it is the Archangel Oracle card deck. And this deck was created by Doreen Virtue, who was my teacher. And uh, it's a, a deck that has a picture of Archangel Jophiel on the front of it. And when I was training with Doreen, she said, this picture of Jophiel is the uh, clearest depiction of Jophiel that she has ever seen uh, is a, a painting, actually, I believe. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and say a quick little prayer over these cards. And I'm going to ask the angels to bring a message to each one of us who is listening in right now on the show. 
All right, so let's close our eyes. Great Spirit, Mother, Father, God, beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters, spirit teachers, spirit helpers, spirit guides of delight, guardian angels, we call all of you in into this place in time for the purpose of providing your loving guidance for each one of us who are listening in to spiritual awakenings right now, either live or on rebroadcast. Angels, let us know whatever it is that will be most helpful for us to know. What do we need to know about, be aware of, or do? And I ask Archangel Gabriel for clear messages. And so it is. Oh, great card. So our card today is the Moon Cycles card from Archangel Haniel. And so when we get back, I'm going to tell you all about it. It's time for a quick break. Uh, This is like the perfect card on the full moon. So um, you guys hang in there. We'll be back shortly. And then I want to tell you about this card. It's one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's just lovely. Stay tuned. I'm Marcia Hebrank, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we will be right back. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Master of words, powerful player. What life-changing words can Dr. Janet Smith Warfield pull out of her magical toolbox that just might mysteriously open a door you never knew was there? A door to free yourself from fear forever. Transform your rage into right action. Release your guilt. Position you into a life of freedom, purpose, passion, power, and peace. All quite suddenly, unexpectedly, and almost miraculously, with no effort on your part. Join Dr. Janet every Monday at noon Eastern on Dancing with Words, Dancing with Wisdom on the BBM Global Network as she and her guests show you how words map our experiences immersing you in a sound bath that relaxes your muscles, opens your mind, and supports you in co-creating your extraordinary life. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrank, and you're listening to Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing. And our topic today is dealing with difficult people. And what can the angels and the stones help us with in that regard? And our angel of the day is Archangel Raguel, R-A-G-U-E-L. And he is a beautiful angel to help us with our relationships, with our friendships and our relationships. So I want to get back to the card that I just pulled for you guys today. And this card is from the Archangel Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue, and the card is the Moon Cycles card, 
And this card uh, depicts a beautiful image of Archangel Haniel. Haniel is H-A-N-I-E-L. And Archangel Haniel is uh, a very goddessy uh, archangel who is considered to be the angel of clairvoyance, the angel of intuition. She's an angel who helps with women's healing, and she can really help you develop your intuitive abilities. So, golly, I'm excited about this card because here we are with the full moon. The moon was so big last night. I could not believe it. It was gorgeous. I just had to keep going outside and looking at it. Um, Archangel Haniel, let me tell you a little bit about her. Her aura is bluish white pale bluish white and it's like the glow of the moon uh, the crystal that's associated with Archangel Haniel is the moonstone moonstone one of my favorites as well I just gave my spirit sister her name is Lori I just gave her a great big moonstone we traded birthday presents for each other and the moonstone has a very nurturing energy a very magical energy associated with it and uh, very good for women's health and uh, it's a stone if you want to get closer to Haniel and if you want to amp up your intuition it's a really great one to work with it's also a very emotional emotionally releasing stone kind of similar to our aquamarine in that way so haniel is a great uh goddessy angel who has a very nurturing kind of mothering energy and she can help affect miracles in your life if you work with her so back to the card in particular the moon cycles card uh, says to us that the full moon is a perfect time to release anything that you are done with. And the new moon is the perfect time to focus on focus on manifesting your desires and intentions. And the evening before the full moon is an optimal time for healing. I just had somebody here for healing right before the full moon. Um, and for recharging your healing instruments, such as crystals and oils, your essential oils. And so this card suggests that you spend some time going outside and looking Looking at the moon, just like I did last night, and notice how you feel in relationship to the different cycles of the moon. And as you discover the moon's connections with your vitality and your moods, you'll be more in touch with the divine magic of the moon. Isn't that beautiful? So there it is. It's beautiful. The whole card is blue and just luscious. Oh, my golly. I will do my best to put this on my Facebook business page. I know I don't always get them there, but I'm going to try to get this one there. Um, It's Messages from Moon. It's Facebook.com forward slash Messages from Moon. And if you'd like to like my page, I would love it. I now have... 1300 uh, people who've liked my my page and so uh, it's just wonderful I, I love connecting with people on there as well so there is the card for the day now next I thought we would go ahead and do a little quick meditation and perhaps connect with Archangel Raguel on this issue of dealing with difficult people uh, or just kind of, you know, friendships, relationships, any kind of issues we might be having in those. Uh, So let's go ahead and do that now. And uh, let's go ahead now and just close your eyes. And let's take a long, slow, deep, easy breath in, just breathing in love and light. And on your out breath, breathe out any stress, any tension, any worries. And on your in breath, breathe in peace, breathe in joy. And on your out breath, breathe out anything you need to release. And imagine yourself now walking forward on a beautiful, soft, pale blue pathway of light. Coming forward into a space of white light, shimmery white light coming into the center of a beautiful place of healing energy. 
And in this place of healing energy, we call to us now Archangel Raguel. Archangel Raguel, come down, bless and grace each one of us listening in to Spiritual Awakenings now with your loving, gentle presence. And simply allow now Archangel Raguel's gentle, soft, pale blue light to just wash over you and cleanse you, cleansing your aura, cleansing your body, releasing any anger, releasing any disappointment, releasing any stress, any hurt feelings. Allow them just to be release to this magnificent angel and now see yourself taking the hands of Archangel Raguel and looking into his beautiful energy perhaps looking into his eyes and note there that there is only love for you this beautiful Archangel is here to help And now with your intention, allow yourself to ask Raguel's help with any relationship that you may be having trouble with. Could be a friend, could be a coworker, could be a boss, could be a family member, a neighbor. Ask Raguel to help you with this and give him your gratitude And know that as you ask, so will it be done. And see yourself giving Raguel a great big hug. And see yourself now coming slowly and gently out of that space of white light, coming back down that soft blue, pale blue pathway of light, all the way back into here and now. Coming all the way back into your body, into the room that you're in. Breathing yourself back in, breathing in love, breathing in light. And we'll take a quick short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrank. This is Spiritual Awakenings, live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Les Col des Beaux-Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrank, and you're listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. 
And today we're talking about angels and stones and crystals and spiritual healing. I'm kind of blissed out after that little meditation. Uh, oh, I just really uh, connected beautifully with Raguel. I hope you did too. He has so much love for us and he really loves to be of assistance to us. So I wanted to read you a little bit uh, here about Archangel Raguel. And this comes again from Kyle Gray in his book, Angel Prayers. And here is uh, directly from the horse's mouth from Raguel. It's a channeling. My role is to bring a sense of calm and harmony to situations and places that have forgotten about the light. As an angel of justice, it is my purpose to ensure that these situations are adhering to the spiritual law of grace. I am unable to help a situation unless called upon. However, when it comes to worldly and universal issues, I work to the law of grace, ensuring that light is brought where it is needed. I have a particular need to help relationships, especially where families are feeling the strains that can cause rupture and disconnection. I am here to resolve any conflict within the hearts and homes of those involved. It is important to say that I am no judge and I cannot determine the outcome of a situation. It is the universe who decides this. I just follow the laws that are in place. And again, this is a channeling from uh, Kyle Gray's book, Angel Prayers, that he received from Archangel Raguel, the angel whose name means friend of God. And uh, I have a very quick prayer here, if you'd like to join in with it. Dear Archangel Raguel, thank you for shining your harmonious light of balance in my life. Thank you for helping me to recognize all those who are trustworthy. Thank you for bringing any conflicts or arguments in my life to an end. Thank you for helping me to discern what is right and what is wrong. Thank you for being a great friend and shining God's light on me. It feels so good to know that you are here guiding my path to growth. And so it is. And so it is. Um, just love all you guys so much. I'm sending you all great big hugs. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a great week. And uh, you're that one of the bright lights in my, in my life. And so uh, wishing you many, 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 many blessings. Om Namaste. You've been listening to Spiritual Awakenings with your host, Marsha Hebrank. Join us each week as we discover and explore how angels, spirit guides, and spirit teachers through their guidance can nurture, heal, and balance our lives on Marsha Hebrank's Spiritual Awakenings. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.